BCBT is, is a short outpatient psychotherapy that is designed to reduce suicidal thoughts and suicidal behaviors. It's much more targeted and focused on suicide risk itself as compared to the traditional approach to therapy, which focuses more on depression or anxiety or the mental health condition that's assumed to cause or drive suicide risk. The classic ways of treating suicide risk is to first diagnose somebody with a mental health condition. And then the assumption is if we treat that mental health condition, then suicide will reduce. Um, and that's because Still the prevailing model of suicide is that it is a symptom of mental illness. In BCBT, what we do instead is we say, suicide is not a symptom of mental illness. Suicide is its own unique problem. It has its own risk factors, its own drivers, its own contributors. And so we go much more aggressively at those direct things that give rise to the desire to engage in suicidal behaviors. So it's much more focused, um, and we think that as a result of that, it's much more potent and we get better results. In the therapy, it's structured into three phases. The first phase is what we call the emotion regulation phase. It's really focused on teaching behavioral strategies, things that a person can do to help reduce the stress response or distract them when they feel overwhelmed. The second phase then is what we refer to as the cognitive flexibility stage. In that stage, we focus on identifying patterns of thoughts and beliefs, things that people say to themselves about themselves or the world um, that are unhelpful, that can actually contribute to the desire to die. So we identify those and we look to maybe change some of those thoughts so that they're less critical, for instance. And then the third and final stage is relapse prevention. And in that final stage, we do this imagery task where we have somebody imagining themselves successfully resolving a crisis and using the skills that they've used in therapy. And so in many ways, it's sort of like mental rehearsal for the future. And the work that we're doing now with BCBT suggests that as compared to traditional approaches to treating suicide risk, uh, BCBT prevents 60% more suicide attempts. There are pockets of researchers across the country, around the world, looking at different types of treatments for uh, suicide prevention. When it comes to BCBT, we definitely, I, I would say we're kind of the hub um, globally for that. 